Communities are rising up across the country using protests and meaningful discussions in a renewed fight for social equality. So California Women Lead is hosting a roundtable discussion to help keep pushing the conversation about racism and violence in the community. And here to tell us more is board member Dr. D'Angelo Bremont, Dr. D as they call you. Uh, thanks for joining us. First of all, talk about what prompted you to put together this roundtable discussion and what do you hope people are going to gain from it? Well, first of all, thank you uh, for having me uh, on behalf of California uh, Women Lead today. Uh, the reality is that we are at a defining moment here in America in our history um, and at the epicenter of our values at California Women Lead. Um, we want to fight and continue to fight for change um, and not being a part of this meaningful conversation on the systemic racism and uh, the violence against uh, the black community. We've, we've seen it with George Floyd. We've seen it with Breonna Taylor. Um, we, we could not be silent uh, in this moment because we believe that silence is complicity. Uh, so this is a conversation that must be had. And why is it important that we have an open platform to discuss these issues right now? Well, the reality is that every transformation uh, starts with dialogue. Uh, and it, it can't just be a one-sided dialogue. This isn't a conversation of, of just uh, black women or, or just white women or just Democrats or just Republicans. Uh, systemic racism is deeply seated um, into the fabric of our nation. And in order to, to move forward with meaningful solutions, all of us need to be at the table. So tell us, how is this roundtable discussion going to work? Um, you have some speakers who are going to take part in it. Yes, definitely. Um, I, will be, I will be moderating uh, the conversation, uh, but we have the Honorable uh, Malia Cohen, the Board of Equalization Chair, uh, Assembly Member Sidney Kamlager, as well as the newly appointed um, Lakinya Jordan, uh, who serves as the Executive Director on the Commission on the Status of Women and Girls. Um, and all of these women are, are powerful African-American women um, in the state of California, Black Girl Magic. Um, and we want to have a conversation. How, however, because all of our, our um, people participating in the conversation are Black, I do want to urge our non-Black uh, people to participate because, again, this conversation must be um, holistic. We must have all people at the table. And obviously, you've mentioned, um, you know, several issues, several things that need to be discussed starting this conversation or keeping it going, I should say. Um, what are some of the key points you, you want to be addressed during the roundtable? Uh, I think one is we need to be open and honest about the systemic racism um, that has been happening uh, for hundreds of years in this country. Uh, so we need to have an open and honest dialogue about that, number one. Uh, secondly, we need to uh, talk about how you can support the black community um, at this time, how you can help uh, to, to fight for uh, the end of police brutality, um, not in just California, but in this nation um, as a whole. And, you know, clearly, you know, communication is a big part of it. We need to keep that conversation going to talk to each other, with each other. Give me a little bit more background about California Women Lead and what exactly the organization does. Most definitely. California Women League has been around for decades um, as a bipartisan organization uh, to help women uh, who want to become elected officials or receive appointments. Um, if you look at our government, um, women uh, need more seats uh, at the table. So we are fighting uh, for equality. Um, and we, not only are we fighting for more black women to have seats at the table, we need more women um, as a whole. Dr. D, you're going to be moderating the roundtable discussion. What are you most looking forward to, and when is this all going to take place? I, I'm most looking forward to the conversation uh, happening. Uh, I think we are at a, a moment um, in time where we are going to see uh, what has taken place with, I'm calling this the Great Awakening, um, that what we do today uh, and for months to come will we'll change our future for the next uh, decade and into the future. Uh, but if you would like to join the conversation, which we would love if you joined the conversation, you would go to cawomenlead.org uh, and you can find the roundtable uh, information there and you'll be able to register uh, for the event. And if you can't make the event, we would love uh, for you to join California Women Lead um, as an organizational member. Uh, we need more women. Uh, we need more women. We need more women in this fight.
You need more women, and uh, we definitely need to have our voices heard. So you said you do need to register. Is there still time? Is there going to be a cutoff? For registration. Yes, there is definitely still time for registration. Uh, I'm not sure about the cutoff, uh, but please, please, please uh, register. Um, we This is a conversation where as many people um, as possible can participate so that we can really move forward with these meaningful um, solutions. And this is just one of many. This is just the beginning. And I'm sure they can go over to the website. They'll also find um, the rundown of all the speakers and, and they can learn a bit more. Um, you know, in terms of how much you're looking forward to this, can you give me your personal sense of, of what you're feeling right now? Uh, you know, I, there's a lot of mixed emotions. Um, being an African-American woman who whose grandfather was a civil rights activist. Um, so I am cautiously optimistic about our future, but super excited that these conversations um, are happening. Um, so it's up and down, um, but Again, every transformation starts with dialogue, um, and we have some great people at the table who can help um, us work towards these uh, meaningful solutions. So I'm looking forward to seeing you all on Friday afternoon, 12 p.m. Sounds good. Dr. D, thanks so much for joining us and sharing some information about this roundtable discussion. Uh, we look forward to hearing more about it. And for more information, you can visit cawomenlead.org. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.